So next on the agenda is to talk about these IES lights added through photometric lighting. You'll notice in the Arnold tab for the lights, you have this photometric light, which I tend to start, I've started using these a lot more than I did previously, you know, besides using the spotlights and to get me there because photometric lights, you can basically pick and choose the light style that you want to which is really cool by using the uh, IES downloads. So uh, just to get started, um, kind of add one in here. It's the best way to learn. It's got a really nice little easy layout, how everything is. It's got a little arrow pointing the direction of the light. Now, what is an IES light? An IES uh, lighting is basically a, from the manufacturer. They make all the, the specs for their lights and they'll usually upload them so you can either see them or the find my browser I had open with my downloads. Yeah, uh, different manufacturers, they make different specs for lights and stuff like that. And I uploaded a uh, link to the different um, giant library of IES files that you can download. Here you've got your wattage, um, all the measurements. You can go to the LEDs. You can kind of just search for um, different manufacturers. If you're looking for a certain light, you know, you're specking out a home or something like that. You want to see what the lights, the specs are on the lights, if they were installed in the cabinets and stuff like that. You can kind of go. Or if you want to technically match a architectural um, 3D um environment build to a uh, uh, real life uh, spec, you can go and kind of try to find those lights and everything and try to, you know, add exactly what it would look like with those lights in there, which is really handy. I downloaded a few of them. When you come to this here site, though, whenever you download them, though, say if you download this, uh, this smaller light right here, the tiny nine watt, if you go to download, it will give you this big long number here. I always, so I kind of keep up with my stuff, Get my IES folder here on my desktop. I always add it in, then I change the name to it, so I kind of remember. You know, I, I tend to lose track of the picture, kind of envision in my mind, but I like to keep in touch with the, um, or like to keep reminded of the wattage so I know if it's a brighter light, so I usually just kind of go and actually rename the light to that spec because if I want to go find it then I can just go find that spec and I'll know what it looks like but here you can see I have like some medium wattage I'm kind of going by wattage gauge and by wattage so um, but yeah there's really fun to kind of go ahead and see if you got certain lights that you want to make a hallway or something like that look like so get out of that and the Arnold um, site has a lot about to some you can download about how they affect the how they come off of it and all about the specs and everything so that's really informative to kind of go about and kind of read up on them to know what you're getting into so let's add one of these in here and just see what we've got so I got my Arnold tab It's got nothing because there's no light coming in here. Obviously, in the attributes, the first thing is the file. So let's add, go to my IES folder. I'm going to add in a 48 watt. I can't remember really right off the top of my head what it looked like, the shadows and everything, but we're about to find out. Pretty nice. And it's going to come kind of pre spec with the specs already. So you can always adjust intensity. Radius used to have to do with the fall off of the uh, shadow, kind of how it's hitting the, um, hitting the actual object of the piece. Now if I scroll out, you may be able to see this light source. Not with this one. Let's change it and 
go to that nine one that uh, nine one that I just loaded. Oh yeah, it's definitely uh, the radius and all that stays the same. So you gotta kind of reset. Get back to one and one. Just see what straight out the gate it was. Yeah, really low lighting, so you kind of need to crank it. You can mess around with the color change stuff like that it's got a nice soft look to it I like that it's cool um let's try one more it's like that brighter one I know this is going to be brighter now I'm probably going to have to turn the intensity down cool not too bad You can, um, these things are affected by, um, other objects in the, in other words, it's, the light is in the cylinder right now. If I go in here and get rid of the caps, make like a lampshade, you'll be able to see. So as you can see, you can kind of really start making your lights kind of pop um, more photorealistic than just basically spots in there and then cranking intensity through the Arnold render. And we'll talk about, you know, the noise and everything else um, with the upcoming stuff. The more we kind of add in stuff, you're just, it's just something that you got to start dealing with. Um, let's look at the radius on this thing. Sometimes that. I'm going to adjust it and see what that did, that one did to it. Yeah, the fall off. Very nice. And you can add volumetric atmospheric to these lights too. Cool. But as you can see, photometric lights are the way to go, I think, when it, you're come to, especially with your interior lights, you know, you can browse many, many manufacturers. You could probably go to GE lighting sources. But this here ISE library that I've applied to in the link, it's got, you know, different manufacturers that you can select and go to. LEDs. Just thinking. All these are LED. Well, no wonder. To search for LEDs. LED. These are all LED lights. Obviously, you know, different. There's the cool one. Um, some of them will have different, like, ways they um, project out, in other words, like from the side. They project on the side of the actual lamp. Some is from one direct port. So, so yeah, download some different IES lights, what you think you may like, and uh, start applying to the photometric lights and um, see where that will take you within the Arnold render. And um, yeah, so have fun with that. And I will attach all the links below. So, okay, thanks for watching.